This is what it really takes to be a lineman. So when you call, and that, you go around it, I'm very proud of you. Big old beard and all. <laughs> Apparently to be a lineman today, one of the criteria is you have to have a beard. Uh, <laughs> and so our youngster, he's got a nice crop of beards going on, but David is wearing right at about 60 pounds worth of gear. And where the rubber, and it literally is rubber, meets the road, is there are times when your power goes out and the trucks don't go in and can't go in, and these, still, these guys still walk in, they still climb poles, they still, you know, restore power in all kinds of weather, wearing about 60 pounds worth of gear. So why don't you explain a little bit about your grip? Well, we'll start with the feet. These are the hooks. They have... Uh, uh, probably an inch, inch and a half gaps on that'll go into the pole. The harder you kick in there, the further they're going to go in and so forth. Depends on how old the pole is and how good it is, how hard you're going to kick your feet. And uh, they just wrap around and you have a little cuff under your boot there that they tuck underneath. And uh, This is our climbing belt, which we have four D rings now on. Uh, we just went to new safeties. And with these new safeties, you can never be unbelted off of the pole which is going to cut down tremendously on people falling in accidents. What it does is slides out like this. You'll have to put the belt here. And it'll unhook here. And this will go around the pole. And it'll hook back into it. So, so you'll be looking at it like this. And then uh, you just start your ascent and kick your feet in and you hitchhike all the way up. And with these, we can get up there and we can let them out. Or if you lean forward, bring them in, which makes it pretty mobile up top. But uh, if you get to something where the poles, you come to an object or anything and you got to keep going up, you got to do what we call transfer. And then you'll use the secondary, you'll throw it around that, you'll hook it in. After you do that, you'll unhook this one, climb up a little bit, you'll hook this one back up, and then you disconnect this one. And uh, most of the time this is your main, so this is the one you're going to use, you know, nine times out of ten. Uh, you are allowed to use this one, but you can only fall a couple of feet, so if you don't have anything underneath you, you have to use this. And that's makes a difference on that. All right, and sleeves here. These are class three sleeves. Uh, they're good for 26,500 volts, I believe these are. Uh, everything on our system is 14,400, except for transmission, which we don't deal with that much. And we have uh, what we call uh, glove protectors that go over these. These are like a a leather glove and uh, they're specially made to fit and these uh, rubber gloves here are actually a, a bell glove they uh, something new they came out with they used to be flat but these are made so when our sleeves go in they're made to kind of sit in there it makes our gloves not fall off before you stick your sleeves on the gloves will push off so they're pretty handy for that and then uh, y'all can't see this but on both the gloves and on the sleeve here this printing says LCRA tested January 2016, next test July 2016. Every bit of this equipment has to be tested because these men's lives depend upon these, uh, this equipment working. And then up top we have a, uh, our face shield for uh, checking voltage and, and plugging in meters anytime we do anything hot. Uh, whether we're looking in underground cabinets doing any work like that, we got to have these on, protect us from the arc flashes, which it'll come down, but I got it kind of set for everyone right now, so I can wear this. But uh, it, it's and it's it's really handy. You could just wear glasses, but the uh, the arc flashes that come off some of that stuff, if, if you didn't have this on, it would it would you know burn you real real bad. Same thing with our shirts and our pants. Everything's FR rated to a certain cow, so uh, everything we have is pretty much to protect us and if you wear it all, I mean, what do you, if you look at it this way, if I have this face shield down, what do I have that's exposed? Everything's rated for, for the arc flashes and, and for electricity, so if you wear all your PPE, you, you should be good. Any questions? Mm -hmm. okay. so how do you handle delicate jobs when you're trying to do something that's very fine. It's, it takes a lot of getting used to. Uh, 
you don't really practice for it, you just do it when you're in the moment. But if you pull that up, you'll do that and it'll give your fingertips a little more before you really get started. And uh, you just got to use your fingertips the best possibility. And you, you, you know, a lot of stuff you kind of hold on to with your teeth because if you set it down, you can't pick it up, but it, you know, you can get it there. So it's, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs>